All right, bradcooney.com. I'd like to welcome in actress from Slovakia, talking to us from Slovakia, Katina Gray. Kadrina, thank you so much for joining. I'm glad to join your podcast. Well, we're glad to have you. All right, let's jump right into this. I want to talk about your 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 new movie, um, Ghost House. Um, first and foremost, congratulations. I thought it was a great movie. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Right, so talk about it a little bit. You played, uh, you, you're actually in the opening scene, a a very scary, intense scene. Yeah, um, <laughs> talk, talk it's very scary for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk a little bit about that. Talk about that opening scene. Oh, well, it was shot in uh, Thailand, and uh, yeah, it was shot, it was shot uh, very late. It was almost midnight, and... Uh, as you can see, the place where it was shot was very scary, and uh, uh, the whole shoot was so much fun, but scary in the same time. So, yeah, that, that, that's why it worked out perfectly because everybody was just amazing. The whole crew, director, producers, and the OP, and everything, and also including the ghost itself. <laughs> exactly. It was really good. Yeah, the vi the the visuals were were very 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 good in this movie. Um, yeah. So, so how many takes did it take? How many times did it take you guys to get that scene? Actually, I don't really remember how many takes, but um, I always have fun on set, so for me it feels like five minutes. So, <laughs> but I'm really I don't remember how many takes. How was it that you were involved uh, in the movie? How did you get hooked up with this movie? Well, I was called in for casting, and then a callback, and another callback, and eventually I did a movie. So the usual process. What about the? Um, what, a minute ago we talked about the visuals. I thought the visuals were fantastic. Um, yeah. The special effects. So like when you were in the scene and you're running and, the, and then you got to the to the end of the alley and you couldn't go no more and the spirit's right on top of you. There was some really <laughs> cool visual effects there and some some makeup. Like how how much went into the makeup and the and the special effects? Actually, I think they. They already knew how to do it perfectly, and it looked very scary just because of the camera angles, and then they were um, changing the position of the camera, so it looks like she was in front of me, then behind me, and also the background. So she was basically eventually uh, behind me when we were doing all these scenes, and um, I think they did very, very good job on this one, <laughs> seriously. And the makeup, but you mean on the coast or on me? On you, like you remember when your mouth opened up really, 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 really wide, and, and <laughs> um. <laughs> actually, that's a funny story because that's what my dentist said like two days ago, and I was laughing. So we are the second one. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> totally. <laughs> it, it was. Uh, well, it was real. It yeah. Was real. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It was. It was intense. It really. It was really an intense scene. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And the, and again, we talked about the visuals. Um. The, the the spirit, the woman spirit was so, um, it was like literally scary. I mean, and the movements, yeah. the movements of the spirit too. Those those real herky jerky movements was really freaky. Yes, she was like she was like so real. She was so scary to even look at. Seriously, that goes in person when you see walking on the street. It's like so scary. Definitely, and the makeup, I remember the makeup artist, he was amazing, he just recreated everything, and he was just amazing, seriously, such a great job, everybody on this project was just so talented and um, dedicated, like, yeah. I can tell, and it was done that, seriously. You had a lot of fun doing this, didn't you, this, this movie? Yes, I did, I did. Very much, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so this film was, uh, it was, the movie was filmed in Bangkok. Um, that that's an experience in itself. If if if, if, if somebody's never been to over there before, um, what was it like working over there in, in Thailand? I actually have been working in Thailand for past um, three years, like going back and forth. So, um, been shooting a lot over there. So, yeah, I pretty much know um, the area, and uh, it's an amazing country, and uh, people are amazing. The crew mm. and um, uh, it's very it's awesome to work with Thai people. Yeah. I can recommend to every producer and everybody who wants to film the movie. It's perfect location. 
Seriously. And also, the, the, there's some really good actors over there. They don't get a lot of recognition over in America and over on this side much. Um, but the acting, like, like, for example, in the movie, the scene where um, the possessed young lady had to get almost like an exorcism almost by those th the, the Thai women. You know, the, the, uh, their Uber driver, his, his, when he took her to, the, to get healed. Um, that that scene was intense, and they're, they're very, very, very good yeah. acting. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I agree. So the the main actress was just amazing, and I know she works a lot on horror movies and many more projects. And um, she's great. I mean, seriously. Um, yeah, Julie. That's that's her name, exactly. Julie. Yes, yeah. she's she's amazing actress. Yep. I, I can. Well, so are you. Actress. You you really ah, pulled that you. off. That was that. Yeah, but I. I like to appreciate the talent of other people as oh, well. Oh, of course. So yeah, me I too. Can, so I can learn from them as well. Yeah, I'm the same way. I, I like to spread the, spread the joy, spread the, spread the good vibes. Um, but really, your scene when you were running, um, that, that was very real. I mean, you, you really, really, really seemed like somebody scared out of their mind. Um, and I would be yeah. too if that thing was chasing me, honestly. Well, I, I'm a big fan of uh, method acting, so everything I do, I, it feels real to me and mm. has to be. Otherwise, people will not see it as a real thing. So I try to put it in all my performances, like acting, real, being real under imaginary circumstances. But I believe like this can happen anytime anyway, because ghosts might be real or something. So you want to, yeah, you, I'm sure that it's... You want to know a secret? Uh, if I have any secret? No, no, I'm asking you if you want to hear one. Yes, I do, of course. If you can tell me. I'm a paranormal investigator also. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, believe in, I believe in paranormal activity. For so sure. when, so when, I'm going to plug myself real quick. So when we're finished with this interview, when you have time, go visit my website. It's called MississippiHouse.net. Mississippi House? Yes, all yes. one word, MississippiHouse.net. Okay. And you'll see, the actual, do. you'll see the actual evidence of a haunted location that we investigate here where I live. Um, and you'll, you'll be, I think you'll be impressed. <laughs> I will do, I will do. I, I watch all kinds of documentaries about paranormal activity and ghosts. And, nice. Uh, the other world that we don't, Absolutely. we can't see, but, um, I believe it, it's there because it's basically, even if you think about it, it's like the energy, right? Right. So it's, there must be something we are, we are, we might be, you know, uh, touchable, but you, we can't touch the energy, so it can be anything. And souls can leave uh, exactly. the body anyway, so it's around us everywhere. You say, so you, you you're exactly how how I feel. When we pass, yeah. when we pass away, our energy has to go somewhere. Yes, that energy exactly. goes somewhere. And I, I, you know, I was, I was, a, I was kind of a skeptic until I started getting into this and started investigating paranormal. Um, activity myself, and I had my own experiences, and um, and we actually we, we start we start shooting a documentary myself for, for this location that I told you about. We start shooting on Saturday, this coming Saturday. We're, we're filming a documentary of this house. So anyway, this is your interview. I don't want to get off on stuff I'm doing. <laughs> um, <Sure. laughs> so um, I, I told I, I think I mentioned something about the jump scenes, the jump scenes that make people jump. There's a lot of those in this movie, Ghost House. Um, Jump scenes. Jump scenes yeah. are where, yeah, people just jump out of their seat or, or when their popcorn goes flying out of their hands in the movie theater. Um, yep. One of the ones... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. When I, yeah, when I watched the movie first time, like the whole project, I must say, like, oh, my God, I have so many jump scenes mm. in this movie. I don't want to, like, say it's any spoiler, but seriously, uh, like, every five minutes, and, uh, and I love horror movies, mm. but, I mean... No, there are not many horror movies that they are really scary, but these are the, uh, in this movie. There are so many scenes that just makes you jump and and mm. leaves like very strong after effect. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what, what I love about movie. it. That's what I love about yeah. it. Yeah, I think it's very important for if you're gonna if you're gonna put out a movie that's meant to scare people, well then it it should you should make people jump and that's what this movie does ghost house does that numerous times not just once or twice yeah yeah you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. And even in the moments when you think that there's nothing gonna happen 
and it happens. Yes. And then when you expect it to happen, it, it will happen. Exactly. It's not happening. It's not happening yet. <laughs> until the end, and it's happening again. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep, good timing. So, the timing's good. <laughs> they, they made it unpredictable. Right, yeah, which is important. Definitely. All right, so... Um, what are, what are some other projects you're working on? You know, one thing I noticed when I watched some of your videos, some of your your reels, um, you do your own martial arts, don't you? You're a martial artist? I am not a martial artist. Uh, I haven't studied, but um, I train with very good uh, martial artists like Ron Smarnburg, and he, he taught me how to do, like, basic stunts. Wow. So just, just enough so I can uh, act and fight in the movie. For the action, but um, yeah, I mean, to be a stunt woman uh, that takes so much oh, dedication yeah. and hard work, which I always put into acting, and um, so I was going more that way. But I always love the action. I'm like really by heart action. Hmm. I feel like an action actress, and I love horror movies and fantasy and uh, sci-fi. So that's that's my genre. That's that's my thing basically. So if I can join it with the fighting, so that will be perfect. So I did it in a few movies already, yeah. Well, obviously, you must have learned from somebody really good because I was pretty convinced yeah. that you must be a martial artist because some of your kicks were very professional looking, like really, really good fundamentals. Yeah, I also you need a good action director for it, so he can shoot the right angle. <laughs> True. But anyway, it's, uh, the, the, it's the art of movie. In, in one package, you know, so everybody involved in the projects, they make, they make the actor looks good as well, so it's not just me, it's just people behind me as well. That's true. Like a team. Yep. Um, how long have you been doing this? How old were you when you first started acting? I was, um, it's a very funny story because I was doing mostly theater since I was little, and then, um, Later on, I got scholarship to study in Mexico, mm. so I took that opportunity, and uh, I moved there, and uh, I was doing musicals, actually at school, Colegio de Chihuahua, so if somebody hears that, so there you go. Yes, I went there, <laughs> That's great. very good school in Chihuahua, of city Chihuahua and state Chihuahua, and um, they were amazing, so basically just um, passion uh for theater and acting and music and everything just grew after attending that school and uh, later on i well started to work mostly in thailand so it's been i don't know like basically by heart as a hobby all my life but uh full time maybe past five six years i would say that's good stuff so what about america have you been to america if any any, any acting over here yet I've been in America, yes, I, uh, but I'm not, I haven't been shooting there yet, but I've been there many times. We well, better hurry up and get well. you. I'm oh, sorry? I said, somebody better hurry up and hire you over here. We, we need you yeah, acting over definitely. here. Yeah, I mean, I would love to go. Uh, it's, it's on my plan, so I will just, I have like little steps that I follow and my mm -hmm. life plan, so I just follow the step by step and eventually I would love to be there. Definitely, that's the place to be. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> well, I know <laughs> if, I have a few friends that are pretty successful uh, actors, and I'm going to make sure they hear about you. Um, Thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's going to happen for sure. Um, what about some other projects? What else are you working on? Future stuff. Um, I had a, a opportunity to work with um, director Royal Reine mm. uh, on Hard Target 2. Um, maybe you remember Hard Target 1 with Jean-Claude Jean, uh, Jean Van Damme. Yes, I do. So, so the number two is with Scott Atkins, and I was playing basically the girlfriend of his best friend. So I had uh, so much fun on that set as well, because I was actually not doing any action, but I was doing drama. Ah. And uh, I got very good footage out of it, and the movie was great. I can recommend to watch. And I got to meet so many amazing uh, stuntmen and martial artists. And also, mm, the husband in the movie was Troy Honeyset. He's a dancer and martial artist. He's amazing. So, um, so everybody on the set was from different country, and it was very uh, multicultural project. And Royal Reine is just. 
I don't know. It's just that, it's just that such an amazing person to me. Like I wish you could meet him in person. Yeah. He's so he's so um, inspiring for everybody, no matter what you do, as an actor, as a director. He's just great person. And now he uh, he directed Inhumans. Uh, Inhumans. It's now in cinemas as well. So. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I did hear about that movie just not too long ago it came out. Um, yes. Talk about, talk about, you just mentioned a little bit earlier about um, it's really important to have good chemistry on these sets, isn't it? Tell, tell the listeners out there um, the, the the advantage of having a director and a producer and, and the actors and everybody has good chemistry. Talk about the importance of that. Yeah, it's very important because when you are with the people, uh, multiple days in a row, you need to um, listen to each other. It's all about the communication. So everybody needs to be like a perfectly working machine and um, an energy of the people as well. So when the, the, I feel, I believe the project is successful when everybody, from my experience as well, from what I saw, that um, everybody just has to be very positive and just put the, put their best into the project and that's when it's going to work out because otherwise there will be problems if people would not be communicating and working with each other so yeah it's a lot about energy and uh, how people can interact with each other because this is basically people's industry for people and you have to work with people so you need to have a people skills yeah it's <laughs> true a, a, yeah i said the word people many times <laughs> <laughs> you know, a, a lot of people don't realize just how many hours that, that an actor puts into a film. Even small, even like small roles, small scenes, sometimes can take hours and hours of work. Yeah, that's true. A lot. It takes many, many takes and many, many hours. And it depends on the location, the weather, on everything else. Literally, how everybody is ready. And even if they are ready, you can't. There are things that you can't control. So. I mean, daily, 12 to 16 days. Oh, it's not 12 to 16 hours daily. Wow. When you have to, sometimes. So, and it's like a work nonstop. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're shooting and one thing over and over again. So, we have to be patient. Right. And do it perfectly because there are also many angles of camera. So, yeah, you have to be ready. <laughs> you know, you have And patient. Absolutely. Patience is big. Um, you know, another scene you're in in the, in the movie was in the airport. Um, I, I was curious if, like, that scene, if, like, if was that part of the airport? Did you did you guys close that to do that scene, or were there actually were there actually like, you know, customers and passengers walking around watching that scene? Uh, that uh, it was one part of the uh, uh, airport which was not used at the ah, moment. Okay, it was real airport, and uh, it was we couldn't use uh, used for a very long time. So, yeah, that was. You, yeah, it was a real thing. So everybody had to be very prepared to do their best because usually on airports it's a little bit more tricky right, because right. of the other passengers. Right. So, yeah. That's why I asked because, like, if I was ever at the airport ready to catch a flight and then I saw a fight break out, um, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. <laughs> right, and especially this day and age with, with airports, you got to be very, very careful that kind of thing. Um, yeah. So I was curious how, the, how you guys pulled that scene off. So now it makes sense. You guys use a part where that, of the airport that was closed. Yeah, and for Good a stuff. short period of time. So everybody had to do their best. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, before I let you go, I want to give you an opportunity to tell the listeners out there where they can learn more about you, your projects. I know you got KatrinaGray.com, um, but talk about your social sites. Any any other information you could you could share with the listeners out there. Well, I'm on uh, Instagram as Katrina Gray and uh, on Facebook and also on Twitter. And my, I might have my website as well. So Katrina Gray, yeah. All right. Well, Katrina, thank you so much for doing this interview. Um, I really appreciate thank that. I'm going to keep an eye on your career. And I want you to come back and give us some follow-ups. Thank you very much. I will be more than happy to do that.